Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. Here I have Mr. Tom Tom down in the mag. I have your SB220. Uh, it came in, first of all, ugh, with the. Uh, his input tune was all burnt up. Um, he said he noticed uh, just a lot of reflect coming uh, back on his meter, so uh, he, uh, uh, rather he uh, went ahead and uh, uh, put some posts up to do some, some checking and referencing around and stuff like that, and uh, uh, found out his input team was bad after he looked down there and took some pictures. Well, uh, uh, I got to be the lucky one to do a mono tune. Um, or conversion to this Heath kit. So uh, uh, I saved every part. This was a, a meter resistor. Go ahead and put it back to factory stock. If you see the black one uh, right there on top, uh, this one was in there to begin with. I put an original one back in. Uh, got a lot of parts I pulled out. I could have left some of it in, but uh, go ahead and get rid of some of that weight. He did want to keep the old switcheroo here because these things are. Uh, valuable you know uh uh I said that it might be hard and hard to find and um and then i cut the coils and did uh my work to it my i do them different than everybody else uh if you look at the front of it hey the knob's still there well what i do is go down to the inside and i put an input tune so um also after we finally got that fixed uh he was arcing um uh, his uh, uh, tuner was arcing. Uh, let's see if he can. May not be on that side. There you go. So uh, went ahead and I uh, bought him a new tuner, uh, put it in, and uh, put an input tune in as well, and uh, kind of cleaned it up a little bit. I didn't do too much scrubbing to it. I just kind of more blew it out. Uh, Burning everything back up to spec, and uh, uh, this got almost every mod known to man. So I went ahead and uh, did my mods to it. Uh, took out a lot of the excess wire, and then I put some RG400 here uh, instead of looping all the way back through, coming all back. I cut all that wire out. Took about foot, foot and a half of wire out. I made a short distance. Uh, did my um, normal uh, uh, capacitance when I do a, a mono band. So, uh, uh, yep, yep, yep. It's working really well. Uh, guys, this is dangerous. Very dangerous. So, uh, you know, I, I don't wear any rings. My wedding band's off. I do have my watch on, but uh, um, I want to keep every part. So, I put it all back in. I got to put his two knobs back on. Uh, did go ahead and uh, hide my sticker back here. Uh, so um, anyway, let's get let's show a little bit of uh, uh, work here. Let it warm back up. Now uh, I don't think I'm changing the tune. Uh, it does have an input tune, so now this is an input tune, and then uh, everything else is the the same. Uh, it does have an on off relay here because it's got a keyer built into it. Matter of fact, I just got a text from him while doing this video that he uh, he's on his way here. So uh, I'm going to let this warm up for a second. I just turned it off, so the tubes are probably still good and warm. But uh, I wanted to go in and shift the transformer. It looks like it was shipped to him, and the transformer's a little off. You'll see going on the side here how it's kind of bent. just didn't have the time to do it, unfortunately. Um, um, so... Uh, Let's give it a whirl and see what we get here. Now this is just radio at this point. Uh, there's no driver on it. Uh, as long as the tune and everything's still good. Uh, let's go here. We're back on dummy. All right. Uh, let's see here. Well. So, uh, you know, with no drive, that's what you expect. So let's go over to the striker, put a little bit more drive into it. And before we go to the other driver, all right, we'll be putting about 40 bird in. 
and right about 800 so we're, we're right on it and by the way this is peak and that's average 1000 watt average 2500 watt and peak so lights on there all right so let's go back he did say he had a lot of reflect before but i've got all that out so now we're uh, uh doing about 800 peak so let's go ahead and go back to uh, the smaller radio let's put a little driver on it uh let's see here yeah. And uh, let's see if we can turn that off. I'll show you drive. It's two twenty-two nineties, two Toshiba twenty-two nineties. Uh, we're doing. Uh, we we'll put about one hundred eighty-eight into it. Oh, turn it up a little bit more. Maybe put a little bit more into it. About two twenty-three and average about one hundred and twenty bird. All right. So remember, peak average twenty-five hundred watt, thousand watt slug. It's hitting a thousand bird and a little over uh, uh, about sixteen hundred uh, PEP. So uh, and as the reflect went down, he said he had about ten watts of reflect, and we're that's a five watt slug. We're about a half a watt. So yes, guys, I do tubes. Love heat kits, man. They're uh, great boxes. Love to work on them, and especially with those numbers. I'm not sure. How well the tubes are, so um, maybe the tubes are, are checked high, uh, low. I, I figure I might be able to get a little bit more out of them, but this is really well. So a uh, thousand bird can't beat that off a two twenty two ninety driver at about two hundred and twenty five pep, so a little over one hundred twenty birds. So y'all remember, ten man guys, I do it all. Bump bump bump. bump, bump.